Squash, squash, show me where you at. your motivation guy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I'm excited because I believe in you. I believe that you're great. You know, there's so much darkness in the world and you gotta be the light. So stay positive and just be the best person that you can be, all right? All right, so today I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best player in the world. Okay, so you know, there are so many things that we gotta look forward to this season, but like just any other season, we must start by making sure we got the best possible experience. Whether you're a seasoned veteran looking to make a few minor adjustments or just somebody just trying to, you know, figure out for the first time, let's just try to maximize your FPS and lower your ping as much as possible for a much smoother experience. All right, guys, so let's just start by trying to boost your FPS, all right? You know, usually FPS is going to be the easiest thing to adjust compared to your ping. You know, and with the change of a few settings, you can improve the smoothness of your game so that you can just keep up with the competitive scene. Primarily, we always suggest that you guys try having your FPS hit at at least 144. Just make sure that your monitor is at at least 144 AC. Okay, if your monitor is 60 AC, I mean, it's all right. I mean, you gotta work with what you gotta work with, right? Just be aware that the refresh rate is gonna determine how much FPS can actually display. So you can just plan accordingly. All right, so being able to hit the perfect FPS for your competitive games is important, but you also need the skill, guys. So click on the link below and visit proguys.com. There, you're gonna be able to learn basics and advanced strategies to get you playing harder and smarter than you ever have before. Don't need help? Ask our pro-level coaches how you can improve with landing strategies, optimized loadouts, and more. So what you're going to want to do is head down to your settings menu and we're going to just tinker with some of these options. If you have a lower end PC, then what you're going to want to do is just lower your settings down as much as possible. This means lowering options such as resolution and texture details. Fortnite isn't as intensive as other games, so you don't really need the latest in cutting edge technology to compete. You know, sometimes you just need to make the right adjustments to make the most out of what you have. In this case, the FPS is going to determine how fast that you can react to enemies or, and whether or not that you can just clap back if you get in a fight. Okay, so let's just start looking at all the options on the table. If you're in a lower NPC, then at least try for 60 FPS. To do this, you want your 3D resolution and view distance maxed out. You need this if you guys want to spot faraway enemies and see their movements. There's no point in dropping everything that you can't scan the area for loot or threats. Shadows is something that you can do without, so just try turning this off. Anti-aliasing is also a setting that drains your FPS the higher that you have it set. So we recommend setting it to none. However, if you're still getting more frames by cutting other things, you can just try playing around with the settings a bit. Of course, textures, effects, and post-processing are going to be set to low. All right, once again, guys, once you see how many frames you're gonna get with these settings, you can just see if you can turn anything up. If your frames are chaotically rising and lowering during a match, it can lead to some interesting effects on gameplay. This is why FPS stability is so important, the keyword here being stable. If you're already getting more than 144 FPS at a time, then you might think all is well and dandy, but even a high frame rate isn't as good as something stable. Fortnite is a precision heavy game, right? And so in most games, the only precision you really need is really with aim accuracy. You need to make sure that your shots land so you can get eliminations. But Fortnite is also a build intense, you know, game. Game. This, this means that to become a pro, you need to be able to master fast and consistent building techniques. And this is where the FPS comes in. The more you train, the more that you become better at performing tricks. I mean, this is because the muscle memory is adjusting. So you're just thinking about it less and it just becomes an automatic reaction. But your muscle memory is going to adjust to a certain smoothness. Okay, so there's a big difference between being a good builder at 60 FPS and 144 FPS, right? Like if you suddenly change the smoothness of the game, it's gonna throw you off and you might even find yourself missing important edits. And this is why it's important to set an FPS lock whenever you can. The optimal FPS lock should always be something just above your monitor's refresh rate. If at any point it tries to dip, you won't feel it as much in game. You know, sometimes even lowering your settings isn't enough to get the FPS you really want. I mean, other times you want to have better resolution, but still want to get a boost of some kind. For this, we recommend playing with a different aspect ratio. Normally, you will be using the default version according to the monitor that you're playing Fortnite on, but many pros have discovered that changing the aspect ratio allows you to get more frames by having less things to render at the screen at any time. Additional benefits are that, you know, you can see enemies better than when they're in front of you, right? This doesn't really change the hitboxes, but it does make it easier for you to track. So 
one other tip that we have for you is really to keep in mind what skins and gliders you're using. You know, animation can also take some FPS out of a game, and Fortnite skins can be quite elaborate at times, I'm telling you. You know, if your skins are dynamic or, you know, you have some sort of animation, you mean, you can see your frame rates take a very slight dip. Now, this might seem irrelevant, but if you want to improve your FPS, guys, every frame counts, right? Especially if you need to cut something to really get it as competitive as possible. So use more basic skins and just try using standard umbrellas. So what about for all you out there who have a good PC, but you want to boost your FPS so you can compete even smoother? You know, after all, graphics take a backseat when it comes to online games. All right, so one suggestion that we have for you, if you just so happen to be using an RTX card, is turning on NVIDIA DLSS. This allows you to keep graphical fidelity even if you lower your resolution. This smart technology is the, I can't believe it's not butter settings, right? Like you're still gonna be playing on a lower resolution, but you're not gonna be filling in as much. All right, guys, so now for the question of the day. You guys ready for this? Let's go. What specs are you currently playing with and what settings do you prefer to use? Answer the comment in the section below. That's enough about FPS, what about ping? All right, this is the moment we've been waiting on, right? Ping is a bit more difficult to really deal with than FPS, and usually it's dependent on your current situation at home, right? Like for those of you who are new to online games, ping can either be high or low. A low ping means inputs such as pressing keys and performing actions are gonna happen pretty much as you do them. A high ping, on the other hand, is the opposite. Like you might notice a delay when making edits or firing at opponents, and this can be critical when playing competitive online. Like some players such as Mr. Savage have managed to survive on high ping due to various strategic playstyles. You know, we'll talk about that a little bit from now, but you know, here are just some ways that you can lower your ping and have a more responsive game. So the first and most vital thing that you can do to get a lower ping is improving your connection to the internet. You know, the absolute best way, guys, to do this is really by using a wired connection directly from your PC to your router. I mean, you could do this with the LAN cable, and you know, it's really the most direct way of doing it. And this is gonna help you take advantage of your full internet speed since you're no longer sending information over Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this requires you to set up and really just be near your router. And depending on your situation, this isn't always the case. Like if you live on your own, and have control over where to put the router, then you can just try by just choosing somewhere closer to set up. Or if necessary, move your setup to another room. And, you know, and if you're still using Wi-Fi and there are a few options, you know, sometimes just moving your setup closer to the wall, I mean, that can make a difference and even just one bar more than usual can really help lower your ping. If all that fails, just try restarting your router just to see if that clears up a little bit. Even if it doesn't, decrease your ping down to zero. I mean, it can still help things refresh, right? If these tips don't help you get better ping, then the next step is learning to to cope with it. The best strategy that you can implement is mastering your aiming techniques. Like you need to make sure that every shot counts and if there's a delay, aim where your opponent is gonna be, not where they currently are at. Another good strategy is really to keep your distance from your opponent. Like getting into box fights and build battles can be very fast paced. Therefore, you need the best reaction time if you guys wanna place a build. You know, make an edit and really take down your opponent without taking much damage yourself. Uh, unfortunately guys, you know, a high ping can really interfere with these plans and your opponents can just snap towards you quicker while you're a few steps behind due to input delay. But by learning to fight from a distance, I mean, you're seeing more of the battlefield at once and you can keep an eye out on your opponent. Now, even with your ping, you're going to be caught off guard a lot less and you can just keep up with the fight. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro-level coaching. Bunch of course, tell me where you at, your motivation guys back. I'm proud of you guys. I believe in you. Keep fighting, keep going forward. Be positive, stay positive, think positive, be positive to others. I just like the word positive, man. I really am. I'm your motivation guy for crying out loud. That's what I do, right? If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Spread the word, man. Pro Guys has a lot of great content coming out. We're really, really excited. Remember, having the optimized settings can help you excel no matter what setup you have, all right? So find the right one and just start practicing, all right? Hey, connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.